Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to our, another virtual chapel that we have here today. I'm again in another spot in the church, kind of toward the front of the church, um, in the sanctu sanctuary. And I want to just kind of show you some of the symbols that we have in the Lutheran church and Christian church that are really important parts of our faith, that hold us to God's love and grace. Uh, when we first were born, boys and girls, we were in a little bit of trouble. We were not a part of God. Even though God created us and he had plans for us, we were not really connected to God because we had no faith and we were not in God's family. We were a sinful human being. This first part right here, this is what we feel God calls us to be baptized into the faith. Where God calls us to be a part of his family. He puts his name on us and he says, you are mine. Wow, at that point, we're no longer that sinful little baby that was born, or a sinful man, if we were baptized as an adult. But baptism is God's gift to us, and we call this a sacrament, because God instituted it for our benefit to bring us His love and His grace to us. We also have the cross. Of course, that's the symbol, symbol that I wear on my, my person, because I live under the cross, the cross is a symbol of God's grace coming to us through Jesus Christ. He redeemed us, rescued us from our sin because of his action on the cross. That cross is so important to our faith in the Christian church, in the Lutheran church. Back in the back, you can see a little banner there. This is a banner of the creche of our dear founder of the Lutheran church, Dr. Martin Luther. Not to be confused with Dr. Martin Luther King, who fought and uh, worked for human rights and civil rights and equal rights under the law. No, this is Dr. Martin Luther, lived 500 years ago, and he believed God's grace was for him. And that's important to know, because God's grace is for you, because that rescues us from our sin, our predicament. And of course, then God's word that we talked about last week, the Bible, God comes and reveals himself to us and reveals Jesus Christ to us and helps us to understand who we are and how we have been blessed with Jesus's sacrifice on the cross. So these are important parts to our, what we call salvation. Now that's a big word, salvation. But that's the word we're gonna be looking at today in our chapel. The salvation of God is God coming to rescue us from a predicament that we cannot get out of. We cannot rescue ourselves. We cannot save ourselves from it. God had to do all the action by having Jesus, his only begotten son, go to the cross and suffer and die in our place to bring us salvation or that rescue. So we're going to be looking at some things today. I got a video that I want you to look at that is going to be about a rescue of an animal. And maybe you've uh, seen this kind of an animal get in this kind of predicament before and having to need to be rescued by someone else, okay? So Mrs. Uh, or Miss Mansfield's third grade class is gonna be helping us with the chapel today. And I'm gonna have you look at this video first and then we're gonna to go to Miss Mansfield's class. So this first video is just kind of get our mindset on what is it to be rescued and to have salvation. Let's go. Let us begin in the name of, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The next part is, I want somebody to be rescued, okay? So I'm going to have a bad guy and a damsel in distress. I'm going to use one of the two girls here to be needing to be rescued. Did you ever see um, Superman? He would 
fly up in the air and he would go rescue Lois Lane. Yeah. Or uh, have you ever seen the the girl, the damsel in distress, has been laid across a, a railroad track and a train's coming. Yeah. And, and the Superman with the And Dudley Do Right comes running in on his horse and he unties her and pulls her off the tracks just in the nick of time so that she doesn't get run over and then she's like his her rescuer, her salvation. He saved yeah. her from dying. I, I only need one down. bad guy, and I need one good guy, I want to be a good guy. and then I need one of the girls to be the damn one. It's okay. This is what we're gonna do. I don't know. Okay. So Henry's gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna do something really, really bad. So then I want to go over to Cameron and go. I'm gonna get you like this. So then the hero. So then you're gonna say. Don't worry, I'll save you. And you're gonna come in here, and you're gonna stand in front like this. Go here, hit me, but don't touch her. Hit me. I like All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna bite this. All right. All right. So ready? Ready? Now, quiet on the set. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna do something really bad and mean to her. <laughs> that girl. Yep. Don't worry, I'll rescue you. Hit me, not her. <laughs> Hear the Lord of the Lord. Chronicles 16:23. Sing to the Lord all to the earth. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Hear the Lord of the Lord. For my eyes have seen your salvations, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations. It is a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory of your people Israel. Hear the Lord of the Lord. The Psalms 13:5. But I trust in your unfailing Affiliate love, my heart rejoices in your salvation. Hear the word of the Lord. Thessalonians 5 9. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath for our sins, but not to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, again, I want you to say, Hear the word of the Lord, because I am going to read the word of the Lord, and we're going to, we're going to repeat the word of the Lord. Okay, so hear the word of the Lord. Repeat after me. Isaiah twelve two. Isaiah twelve two. Surely God is my salvation. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord Himself. The Lord, the Lord Himself. Is my strength and my defense. Is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He has become my salvation.
Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for rescuing, rescuing me from my sin and guiding me toward your love. Keep me safe and help me to never let go of your salvation. For me, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. The first thing I want to show you right here is this is called the baptismal font. It is where a child or an adult can come forward and be baptized into the faith. And God can uh, connect to them and become inheritance. We've got to start over again. That, that motorcycle got to me. <laughs> so Henry's going to go, <laughs> I'm going to do something really, really bad. <laughs> So, one. I'm gonna get her really good. I'm gonna get her, I'm gonna hurt her. Don't worry, I'll take me and not her. <laughs> okay, cut. All right, so yes, Cameron, when he says I'm really gonna get you, then you just kind of fall down and kind of like protect your head like this. Like, you're, 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 like gonna, this? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get her really good. I'm going to get her. Get her. I'll save you. Look. <laughs> Is that something you work with, Mr. Anderson? How about one more time? One more time. Oh,